this has been a revelatory for me. So as I listen to your story, I will preface this by saying, I'm speaking from the beyond. I am beyond the child raising it here. I'm beyond the struggle for finance. I'm beyond cuddling the grandchildren. I'm beyond the doubt that all of this is so important when I was your age. And I'm beyond the fact that, oh my God, this is the end of me when I was demoted. I'm beyond hip surgery and knee surgery because I still have all of my original parts. I still have all my teeth. I can still see. I still have my nipples, even though they are closer to my waist than they used to be. And I'm beyond menopause. I'm beyond menopause. Now, I'm looking at that word. I'm not beyond wanting a man because I'm widow. So I'm on a pause. Someone asked me, a younger woman asked me the other day, Dr. P, do you still want sex? That, oh, and I said to her, do you still breathe? All in touching all the things that you've talked about, I have an expression. I've been there. I've done that. I bought the t-shirt. I got the hat. I wrote the book and I starred in the movie. On Friday, I will be 80. I will be 80. And so I come to you from the beyond. This stuff, you will work it out. Mm -hmm. April, you will have what you desire. Because you are women, you are women of wisdom already. I just want to tell you that it does all work out. Now, how does it work out? You will have trouble in your way. You will be betrayed by people you never imagined. You will bury your brothers and your siblings if you have some. You will bury your mothers and your fathers. I want to encourage each and every one of you. You're going to look back as you age and say, my God, why did I drive myself crazy? This thing about self-doubt, I think it was Dr. Sume because it was the first thing I text when I heard you, the imposter syndrome. We all go through that. How did I get here? How did I wind up in Harvard at 45 years old, leaving my grown children and my husband to go off to what I call sleepaway camp? I hear the single mothers. There are some single mothers who actually have a husband, but they are single. The young lady that just spoke about getting my name back. Yes, you will get your name back, but what you really want is yourself back. And the young lady with the double mastectomy and the, the tattooed nipples, it's okay. It's okay, get a pretty bra and work it. And because God has somebody for all of us, but the point is, love what you got. Appreciate. If you don't have long hair, get a weave. If you bald headed, wear a wig. If you like, if you like April, who I just adore, just cut it all off and show show that head. Don't get stuck in the obstacles. Mm. There will always be problems in your way. It's how you overcome that. So. Constance is my coach, and here has been my strength as I got 60, 70. It was the young women like you in my life. I hook up with the young. I give them my wisdom. They show me how to use Microsoft. Younger women, keep some older women because we know what you're going through.